explosive and chilling new details surrounding the second assassination attempt of Donald Trump. Ryan Ruth in federal court, where a judge ordered him held in jail pending trial. The would-be assassin apparently made a jailhouse phone call saying he was sorry. And that's on top of a disturbing letter Ruth allegedly wrote months ago, making it crystal clear his intention to kill former President Trump and even offering a bounty to anybody willing to finish the job. We also found out today how Ruth was casing the joint with cell phone records, putting him near Trump's golf club and Mar-a-Lago residence on multiple days and times between August 18th and the day of the attempted assassination. He also had six cell phones and license plates at the time of his arrest. Meanwhile, rapper 50 Cent is sharing his thoughts on Trump's first brush with death and why it resonates with so many men. Just just fight. All right, and that's exactly what I did after I got shot. I just went into a fight mode. People identify with it that way. Explain this letter, Judge Jeanine. So this guy writes this letter to a friend, and then the friend opens this letter right after this assassination attempt, and then the FBI airs the letter? Okay. I don't understand it. All I know is that he took this a box with letters in it to a female, all right? The female says she first thought about opening the box when she heard that Ryan Ruth had uh, attempted to assassinate the president. Now, I also understand that there are other letters in the box. This initial letter is apparently apologizing for not actually killing his intended victim. So my question is, are there other letters that indicate that if he did accomplish the goal that he set out to do, mm -hmm. do they do something else? I want to know about all the other letters. I want to know what the relationship is. And you did great on your show, Jesse, and, and you should talk about uh, all of the inconsistencies. This guy doesn't have money to pay child support, so they let him off of child support. He doesn't have the money to get an attorney, so we give him, of course, a taxpayer-funded attorney. But the thing that absolutely infuriates me is the fact that the Department of Justice made a decision to publish this letter, which is so incendiary. And I said last week, the left won't be happy until they put a bounty on Donald Trump's head. And they just did by publishing that letter, saying $150,000, I'll give you $150,000 if you, if you assassinate the president. This is, talk about unhinged, mm -hmm. you Want, I mean, this is a reason for someone who's unhinged to actually act on it. It's an outrage. And when they publish this, it's un-American by the Department of Justice. This is the Biden-Harris Department of Justice leaking this information to the public. And I think it's disgusting. Now, where did this guy get $800,000 to live in a bungalow in Hawaii? Where does he get the money to go to Thailand, Ukraine, and all the other countries that he goes to? And the Justice Department says, look, the reason we let it out is to establish a tent. That's nonsense. Take it from one who knows what she's talking about. You can establish a tent without publishing this. And you can do it at the time of the trial. Or you can do it at the time of motion to dismiss the case. But... This man is, uh, th this letter is not only a call to arms, it is telling people, I'll reimburse you.